here in Cincinnati, Great American Ballpark in a city steeped in baseball history. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. The Atlanta Braves going up against the Cincinnati Reds. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. So almost ready to get underway and getting the start for Cincinnati, Hunter Green. Well, just a three-pitch mix in his arsenal, which, you know, it's not a lot for a starter. So always very important for him to have a good feel and command all three. Sometimes you can make that three look like four if you add or subtract a little bit of velocity on one. But you know, one thing about it, it can be easy to get too predictable out there on the mound. So hitters are aware of that. Mixing those three pitches in all counts is going to be a big key for him in this one. Ronald Acuna Jr. in now. Takes ball one off the plate. First pitch, one o'clock. Next offering is down low. And that one in the air center field. He's under it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. One up, one down. Here's the Atlanta Braves lineup. Ozzy Albies up to the plate. First pitch misses. A lot of pitchers have caught on to how good he is hitting the first pitch. Smart to avoid the zone right there. One down, bases. There's a strike. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. And another ball. Way to lay off that fastball off right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. The wind of the pitch. On the ground the first, and it goes just foul. Two, two down. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Swing and a drive. This one is crushed. No doubt about it. And here in the late stages, they have the lead. He muscles that one out of here. The Braves score first. It's one zip. He kept swinging, and it paid off. Well, that was a battle, Boog, and he just kept taking his cuts. Finally started one up. pitch he wanted to hit spit on some other pitches in this at bat was very patient and it paid off one down Austin Riley will hit next in there at the knees that's strike one part of the order coming through now and with one home run already in this inning they're definitely looking to do some more damage And a good eye there. Activity in the bullpen for the Reds. Ian Jabot loosening up for manager David Bell. Farmer getting loose as well. And a pitch. That one misses. And now three and one. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. That to right. Fraley should have it. 
calls it in two away. That is cool. The first baseman, Matt. Two outs, base is empty. Here is Matt Olson. And first offering is fouled off. Outside corner for a strike. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball. 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. Two down, nobody on. In the dirt, and that is ball one. Oh, and he hit him. He had him one, two, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. Here's Marcelo Zuna. So, Boog, if you had to take one for the team, where would you want to get hit? Chris, I think I'd have to say upper hamstring. Swings through that. He can live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Next pitch is outside. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. Love to see it. Power versus power right there. Sets him down looking. Fastball at the letters. Throws him for strike three. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. It's an early 1-0 lead. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Cincinnati, towing the slab in today's game, Spencer Strider. What do you look for here? He has great stuff, Boog, but what I love most is his drive. You know, when he takes the ball, he's going to give you everything he's got and try to pitch deep into the ball game. He's a true competitor, which makes it easy for his teammates to play hard for him. We're not going to see him take many pitches off. Baseman. I can promise you that. Now it's the second baseman, Matt McClain. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. Swings and misses, struck him out. Well, clearly just anxious right there, and understandably so, an 0-2 count. You feel like you've got a lot of faith to cover, and you strike out, and you end up striking out. That's just one of those pitches where it's not over the plate, but because you committed to it as it was leaving his hand, by the time you realized it wasn't going to be in the zone, it's too late to hold up your swing. Ellie De La Cruz, the next to hit, takes low for a ball. Righty to the play. Right through there for a strike. One ball. Two straight. In there. Got him looking for the K. And they're down to their last out. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, Got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with a number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Hit to right, and that ought to do it. He's got it. Ball game. And the Braves hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. 
Well, this one was all about the pitching and defense. Outstanding job of the pitchers, really attacking hitters, trusting what the catcher was putting down, and trusting the players standing behind them to make the plays defensively. Sometimes you want to see a high-scoring game, but sometimes you can appreciate the artistic beauty of what these pitchers did on the mound today.